All right, y'all, Tommy back in. I got my little uh, 20 volt heart RC truck. As you can tell, well, I don't know if you can or not. That is, I've already been playing with it a little bit. It's got some mud on it. There's water. Here's the batteries. See the little 20 volt. Now, I haven't really noticed no difference between this, uh, except for you know the heavier battery. It holds down better to the ground. Uh, let me show you how how this thing works. All right, uh, got some pins right here. You can see it. There's four of them. You got two in the front, two in the back. All right, top pulls off. Now you should be able to tell that I'm, I've been playing with it a little bit. It's a little dirty. You take your battery. Slide it in. On the bottom side is the on and off. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on because I'm fixing to run it. Put your top back on. Now, me personally, this is a this toy. This is not a top dollar RC truck. I mean, this is for you know an adult with a that just wants to have his you know be a kid again. These come in and out pretty easy, so you ain't got to worry about fighting them. They work great when your hands ain't wet. All right, on your on your remote, you got a little button right here which controls your wheels, how they come in and out. This is your forward and reverse. Turn it on, and let's check it out. This thing is very hard to keep straight. Or maybe I just ain't good enough at it yet. As you can tell, I, it's hard for me to keep it straight. It's almost like one wheel goes faster, it turns, and, the, and the, the, both back ones don't. I mean, it shows both of them spinning. Try to adjust these wheels a little bit. Maybe I need to practice more with it. There ain't no four wheel drive.
on Hart's ad, they say that it goes 20 miles an hour. But I want to know how they got that thing to go straight enough to get 20 miles an hour. Can't even keep it straight. I will tell you though, it is pretty quick. Maybe if it was on a asphalt road or some concrete it might be a little bit better but all in all I think if it had a bigger battery bigger battery in it we're gonna test that right now let's see what it's gonna do now you don't have to pull these pins up you can just reach in here grab your battery put the other one in but i will tell you now after just a few minutes of playing with this thing i can already smell it smoking it got too hot already. Jerry, does it seem like it holds better, better with a heavier battery in it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it ain't bounces near as much. Mm -hmm. It's got better traction. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If this was a, a paved road, paved it, or concrete, mm -hmm. you'd be able to control it better. All right, y'all. I'm going to suggest if you get one of these toys, these hard trucks, use the uh, four-ounce battery in it. It holds it down better to the, to the ground. Um, other than that, it's a, it's a kid's toy. If you, if you're an adult and you want to have the kid come out, get you one of these. I'm going to play with it a little bit, give me a couple little ramps set up and see what it's going to do. All right. If y'all like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you.